हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर पावर बीआई चैनल हियर वी आर कवरिंग डैक्स फंक्शंस इन दिस सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल गाइस वी हैव स्टडीड सम टाइम एंड इंटेलिजेंस डैक्स फंक्शंस एंड इन टुडेस क्लास गाइस वी विल आल्सो लर्न मोर अबाउट सम मोर टाइम एंड इंटेलिजेंस डैक्स फंक्शंस सो हियर आर द टॉपिक्स गाइस व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन टुडेस क्लास एंड फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट क्लास गाइस आई विल मेक वन मोर वीडियो ऑन वेरिएबल्स After that, we have completed all the DAX functions of Power BI. So let's start with this total entity DAX function. So let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first. It evaluates the value of the expression for the month to date in the current context. And here we have three parameters: expressions, dates, and filter. And these functions, guys, are exactly same to the dates MTD, dates YTD, and dates QTD. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function. So here I have taken one table visual, guys, where I have taken order date, products, regions, country, and sum of sales. And before apply this total MTD DAX function, guys, I will apply dates MTD. So I will click here on new measure, and here I will write dates MTD. So I will start this function with calculate. So under expression parameter, guys, I will take sum of total sales, which is from sales table, and close the bracket, comma, and the next parameter is filter one. So here I will apply DAX function, which is dates MTD, and here we have just only one parameter, which is dates. So I will simply select order date from sales table and close the bracket and hit enter. So here is our measure, guys, and now let me drag and drop it here. And I will also take one card visual from here, and I will also drag and drop this measure here in card visual, and now convert into actual value. So here you guys can see the answer is one three one nine five six. So here MTD means month to date. That means the last days of this data set. So here you guys can see in December we have just only three dates, which is second, ten, and sixteen. And if you calculate the sum of all these three dates, so the answer would be one three one nine five six. So let me open my calculator first. And now let's cross check. So the last three dates are second of December till sixteen December. So I will add one three one five six plus seven eight. Three zero zero plus four zero five zero zero. So the answer would be one three one nine five six. So in this way, guys, you guys can calculate dates MTD. And now let's apply total MTD. So I will simply go here on new measure. And firstly, I will rename the measure name, which is total MTD. So guys, we don't need to use any calculate DAX function here. to calculate the sales of mtd so i will simply write my measure total mtd and look at the parameters guys expression dates and filter so under expression guys i will simply take sum of sales which is from sales table and close the bracket comma and the next parameter is dates so i will take order date here which is from sales table And here, guys, we have one more parameter, which is filter. So I will talk about this later. So let me close the bracket and hit enter. So here is our measure, guys. And now let me drag and drop it here. And let me copy this card visual and paste it here. And I will remove this dates MTD measure and put it total MTD measure. So here you guys can see. both the measures are returning the same output which is 131956 so you guys can use any of the dax function while calculating mtd and now let's talk about the difference so as we seen guys this dates mtd function we can use with the help of calculate but under total mtd dax function guys we don't need to use calculate dax function and we have one more major difference guys in dates mtd we don't have any filter parameter but in total mtd guys we have one more parameter which is filter and now let's talk about this filter parameter and let's suppose guys you want to check the mtd of this 
country column. So in filter parameter guys, you can simply apply the filters. So let's suppose I will take it here country column. And I want to calculate the MTD of country India. So I will write inverted comma here and simply write India. Inverted comma close and close the bracket and hit enter. So here you guys can see the output is 40500. Which means the total QTD of India is 40500. Let's suppose guys if I change the country name here. Let's say China. And hit enter. So the total MTD of China is 91456. That means it adding the sum of the 78300 plus 13156. These two records are China. And now let's cross check. So the first sale of China is 13156. Plus and the second sale of China is 78300 which is 91456. So with the help of total MTD DAX function guys, you guys can apply filter on any of the column. So I hope guys, now you are clear with this DAX function of total MTD. And now let's move towards the next DAX function of our today's class, which is total QTD, which is exact to the total MTD. So let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first. It evaluates the values of expression for the dates in the quarter to date in the current context. And again, we have just three parameters, expression, dates and filter. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function. So I will simply go here and copy this measure. And now I will go here and click on new measure. And this time guys, we will calculate total QTD. So let me rename this measure name as total QTD. And from here guys, I will also change the measure name, which is total QTD. And hit enter. So here is our measure guys. So let me copy this card visual and paste it here. So I will remove this total MTD and drag and drop this total QTD, which is exactly same. So here you guys can see the last quarter sales of China is only 13156 and 78300. So the last quarter is October, November and December. So under October, November, December guys, we have just only two sales of China. So that's why her answer is 91456 and now let's cross check with this India. So guys now let's change the filter. So I will go here in formula bar and I will change this from India and hit enter. So here you guys can see the India sales of QTD is 92700. So it calculates the last quarter sales which is October, November and December. So again you guys can see India is returning here two times in the last quarter which is 52200 and 40500 and now let's cross check with calculator. So I will add this 52200 plus 40500. So here answer is 92700 which is totally correct. So in this way guys you guys can use this total QTD DAX function. And now let's move towards the last DAX function of our today's class, which is total YTD. So let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first. It evaluates year to date value of the expression in the current context. And here we have just four parameters guys. And this parameter is optional. So we guys can skip this. And now let's go to the Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function. So under this data set guys, we have just only one year of data, which is 2022. So it will gives you the sales of last year. So let me copy this measure and click here on new measure. And now let me paste it here and I will write here total YTD. And from here guys, I will also change the measure name, which is total YTD. And I want to filter the sales of total YTD of India and hit enter. Let me copy this card visual and paste it here. So let me remove this total QTD field and I will enter here total YTD. 
so here you guys can see our answer is 143900 that means it returning the only india sales from the last year so if you want to cross check guys so let me take one slicer from here and under slicer guys i will drag and drop this country column and now i will check with india only so here you guys can see our total india sales of the last year is 143900 which is totally correct and let's suppose guys if we have more years like 2023 and 2024 and once you applied this dax function guys so it will calculate the only india sales of 2024 which is the last year so in this way guys you guys can use this dax functions so i hope guys now you are cleared with all the dax functions of our today's class so this is the last part of time and intelligent dax function category so do more practice and explore more yourself and stay connect with us and kindly support this channel and if anyone wants to learn free power bi from scratch so here we have this free youtube channel guys which name is power bi full course by shubham and under this 50 tutorials guys i have explained each and every concept in detail and those who are visit first time on this channel please kindly hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press this bell icon guys else you will miss an update and for the job seekers guys we have this free telegram group where i'm keep posting latest power bi jobs opening as well as you will find some latest interview question and answers so you don't need to pay anything to anyone for jobs and trainings but if you still think you required paid training sessions guys so i am also providing one on one paid training sessions and from day one class guys i prepare for you interview rounds and also tell some advanced scenarios which mostly ask in an interview so you guys can connect me on linkedin or telegram channel both the links are given under the description box you guys can follow me there and for the free learners guys we have this free youtube channel so keep learning and keep growing thank you so much guys for your more love and support thank you so much